she's my wonder woman she's my my mother's my life hmm. and you like kicks me shall you ask how much wow wow what cause and chill matchy the ghost lady and len moleko hey he was a, he was a shy nigger yeah so basically how i met him okay we met at church right as mm. i said and he liked me before but he wasn't able to say anything so he looked at me because i was those kind of girls like yeah i'll come to church but oh, no, I, i look like the girl of the world you know oh, no, let's say you know you i like things now yeah, nikki papa okay, no, like papa. I loved to dye my hair. I was just extra life colors. I love I really didn't care and I was trying I was trying Palisade to be church. I wasn't trying to be a Miss Goody Goody at church. No, no, no. Oh, I was okay. literally those who uh, now nah, I'm showing you that now nah, I, I don't belong here, <laughs> you know. Mm. But anyway, okay. But because I'm deep down force. I was a I was a good girl inside. So when he actually spoke with me and he started just to the some random conversation we had and I was like, "Whoa." this could be the one wow. and then i aligned whatever questioning and my 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 tone of talk changed were you single yeah i was single mm. well yeah i just i was actually just i just uh, broken up with another the ex where did you meet your person uh i was trying to smash a friend ha huh. mm. you were s- <laughs> <laughs> So kahle kahle uthathi penalty. Hey, 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 we know these things. So you guys just started talking. Yeah. Mm. And okay, because of he was very sweet and I, I, what I knew about church guys Was is that or is? Is, is. Okay, thank you. And what I knew about church guys is that they do this whole sweet thing and a lot of church girls end up falling for a guy Demonic. and they feeling like and girls would kind of be in this illusion that they are in a relationship whereas the guy has not said anything you understand you know when a guy is being nice to you doing mm. being a good brother you know mm. and then you start thinking he likes me see? yeah no they're dangerous hey. so i put him to like order quick i was mm. like yo you're acting like a boyfriend and i'm not down for that oh. so you need to know where you're playing mm. oh he he just appreciated he was like whoa this girl is up front and he was like well can i be your But boyfriend he's, a, he's 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 yeah. from from the times that i've met him mm-hmm. he's 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 a good nigger oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i i i i i think he's a chiller that that's how good he is no <laughs> like <laughs> so you say chillers are good niggas. Ah, no chillers oh, no chillers are chillers oh. are chillers are life man yeah and your your husband is your husband is life mm. I, i love him to be you should hear his voice oh he's got the he's got the oh. of course i like, never want him to be heard on the podcast him and him him hey. and him like we almost on the same level oh. type of thing oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> hey tell him beats me with the beard but like <laughs> yeah me and him voice wise my Ooh. voice can hold its own Ooh. to him yeah. okay yeah as yeah. you can hear uh, that i'm changing it <clears throat> what's yeah. the next question next question Um not a question but let's have a segment called Ask Ghost Lady. Mm. We ask her anything about relationships and about women as guys. Oh this is even from a guy. This is like ask a le- ask a, ask, a, ask a man. A man. Yeah, mm. ask a ghost lady. I Ooh. think that will work on radio. How does it work on YouTube? Ask a ghost lady. Ask a ghost lady. But you won't see her. No problem. I think people but just she's a ghost lady, because so of you're never going to see her. Yeah. But how would okay explain how that would look on so YouTube. So send your questions if you've got ask a ghost lady. Like would have us, a segment. Drop us drop us drop us a uh, thing obviously you have to be a subscriber. You have to comment. You have to send us a message on the WhatsApp uh, line 0814740632 and say hashtag ask ghost lady. Uh, he only lasts for five minutes. Oh, what should I do? Enough. So, so it's a feature within what we record. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like you see how maybe we'll have a game after a game. Yeah, so that'll oh, be by the, the new way. game. Yeah, oh, as yes. cosplay. I like that. Okay, nice cool. Nice little feature there. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll that. give a good advice. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah I like, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like don't ask said. Mac. Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. I like that. You okay, will cool. not it. Mm. Next question. Next question. We've got 10 minutes left. What are some of the challenges y'all have experienced with running the podcast? MacBook. Ish. <laughs> Mixer. Lights. Lights. <laughs> Camera. Camera. Action. 
uh, for me personally, <laughs> apart from those, uh, those are everyday things. It's timing because I've got a nine to five. And sometimes when we need to do things that we can do at a particular time, I can't do it. I'm either out of town, family commitments, or work Like the celeb interviews, people think, I don't want you guys there. It's just that you guys are working. I can't do them because you do them during the day. Exactly. Oh, You know, there's so many people who actually ask me, but dude, it's weird that you're not doing the celeb interviews with Mac. And Caesar, you were not working. It was after hours. Yes, so we did it at your at your place, mm. and it happened at about seven o'clock. Mm. It was on a Friday. Mm. I had knocked off at like three that day, mm. so I had the whole evening to myself. So I was able to do it. Ankle tap. When we started it, he came. I was still unemployed, and I had time to do it with mm. you, um, Hulisani. No, no, no. The other ghost lady was there for Hulisani. But I wasn't around. Mm. I was not in Joburg at the time. And you, Ghost Lady, your challenges of the podcast? My challenges for the podcast? Mm. It used to be driving, but now we. Yeah, at your house. because you guys, exactly. You've just made things so much easier for me. Like we record here, and so I'm happy. Yeah, because we didn't like you driving at night. And thank you for that consideration. I, would, yeah. I love that about Yeah. Y'all. Thank me. Y'all, y'all guys are just so sweet. I know I had one question. Mm. Why did you guys actually settle with me? Why? Oh, you're alive. Hey? <laughs> oh, I didn't die. <laughs> no, I was, fo- I was forced to it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice. Mm-hmm. But I okay. was told. So what would what would have been... Or would you have wanted to continue to a search for other ghost ladies? I don't know, actually. It's, it's, it's an energy thing. Okay. Uh, the energy immediately connected. Energy, no, so, but energy, I'm just saying, energy. would you still want to continue, let's say... What possibilities out there? Look, um, I feel with everything that you do. Because imagine, okay, do you think that there would be better, let's say, better podcast if we had like five ghost ladies? We are good, but we're not that good. Uh, one is enough. Okay. Yes. That's are you trying to retire? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so I just wanted to have a, just the. Yeah, so what I'm saying yeah. is. Uh, it's the energy goes mm. the same way that the energy went with the previous ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, however, there are other elements that come into play. Energy is not the be all and end all. Mm. There are consistency, there are availability. And like we were so shocked the other day when you couldn't do an episode and I had to do it with him because you were sick. Mm. You've never been sick for like almost a year, if mm. not a year over. And he got sick. He's never been sick ever since we started. Yeah. Um, my situation was different. It was work-related. So it had to be fought. And there were meetings and whatever that conquered. happened. <laughs> but in essence, what I'm saying is um, it can happen without you, without me, but not without or him. With, without him. Yes. Yeah, true. That's literally what I've learned in the past Almost two years that we've been in. Next question. Okay. I Next like how question. he segues. Yeah, never wants to talk about he, himself. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. No problem. We know that. Um, what's the most kindest thing you ever, you've ever done for anybody in need who didn't ask for your help in the last few weeks? Very sweet question. I love it. I. What did you it, do recently? I'll tell you. Ne? I'm not going to tell you what I did mm. because in doing it, if it was done for me to actually take it out there, then it was done for me to actually be like, oh, look, I'm kind. No. It was done, was done. Yes, I have done something. Actually, several things, to be precise. I did something coming here to the podcast today, actually, uh, before we recorded. But I feel if you do something in kind, it's not for you to put it out there. Do it so that you do it so that you... It's between you and that person. And that's where it ends. That's how I feel about it. I'm not about advertising on some... Taking a video on some like, yo, um, um, there's a guy I met at the street corner and then I gave him clothes and I gave him food and whatever, 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 whatever. Why? And you, ghost lady? Um, I don't mind. I can talk about it. Um, We 
last few weeks, something I'm very like the okay. Basically, we we're organizing a trip. I initiated organizing a trip for myself, my husband, and my son, our son, and with his mom, my mother-in-law, mm. an overseas trip. Oh. Yeah, and unfortunately, with this whole coronavirus, we had to cancel. Oh. Like we were supposed to be going for the Easter weekend somewhere, mm. just a nice mm. little short mini oh, vac. Yeah. Nice. But unfortunately, yeah. But I think it was very sweet, and I just wanted to break that whole thing off because I really wanted her to be there. Yeah, you know. So yeah. I just uh, wanted to ex- just extend my love and, and you, Mabena? break that thing. Ah, uh, no, me. I'm like you. I I don't talk about things that I've done. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you have you done anything? <laughs> just w- give us a I wink. Can tell you if what you, I you, did, but I'm not going to tell you who I did it yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm able to talk because okay, no, yes, me, no, but, like yeah. uh, upon driving do? here, uh-huh. I was obviously leaving my house, going coming to your house, and then I needed to pour petrol. Right, and in doing that, the petrol attendant was like, I was, I think I was pouring like 300 bucks worth mm-hmm. of petrol. And the petrol attendant, like, I just like, yo, petrol, I need to move. And then I felt bad because I had bought food and I was eating while he was pouring petrol. Mm-hmm. Right, and then while he was doing that, he was like, okay, do you need tire pumped, what, what, engine? I'm like, no, they're cool. And upon me saying that, while I was eating, I noticed him coming to my window saying, Hore, please close your window because I want to wash it. And I'm talking about the passenger window, not the windscreen. Mm. So he washed the windscreen. I did not notice because I was eating in the car. And then he washed the passenger window. So he literally washed all the windows in my car. And I was like, wow. Okay, cool. That's such a... I've never experienced this kind of service before. And then... Upon paying... I was like, ish, dog, um, I don't have cash on me because generally I don't keep cash with me. Mm -hmm. I was like, can I add a bit extra on my petrol bill? And he was like, yeah, sure. So I added extra on my bill versus if my petrol was 300, I just paid 300 and whatever. So you tipped him basically. Yeah. Mm. How much did you tip him? 50% 50% of what I paid for my petrol. Which is how much? You'll do the math. I can't, Chief. 150 rand. Do the math, guys. Okay, you put the no, know, right? so I can wash all your windows. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get 150 rand. <laughs> You've got no, a chance. No, but it was not about that. It was not about... It was not about... It's a good one. It was, it was not about that. It's four it windows. Yeah. <laughs> 150 rand. It's actually six. Yeah, exactly. I said do That's the math. That's about thirty-five rand per window. It is. Yeah. No, but it was not You've even got about th- every four d- meals. every day in the morning yeah. when he goes to work. I'm for me, it was not even about no. <laughs> for You've me, got four meals at the test <laughs> rank. <laughs> Break it down like this. For you me, are a happy man. No, guys, 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 guys. For it. for me, it was not even about the money. It was about the effort that he took. Mm. Ne? And I didn't ask him. I could have just like okay, sharp. Paid my petrol bill and left. Hey, I'm gonna take effort as well. You don't have to ask me. No, fuck off. <laughs> uh, Len, why am I feeling like Uli Malia Lobol? Be careful. <laughs> don't no, get moist now. No, huh? my uncle has that. <laughs> yes, and I'm still adding to it. Oh, uh, yeah, Uli Malia Lobol. No, 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 not even. Okay, okay. So Next the question. base is added. It's mm-hmm. fine. Relax, guys. Next question. To McGee. Who did you enjoy interviewing apart from Scoop and Dineo Ranak? Ah, the question is like... Yeah, but no, it could it's be like a new... It's like Corona. It could be a new it chiller. Keeps coming, it, no, it's actually not Corona. It's like a flu. Mm. It keeps coming back. Influenza. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. I think I've answered that before. No. But answer, okay, it, answer again, it again. It's no, I've always said I enjoy interviewing people that are... You know, like Penny said, you know when you interview someone... Sometimes they give you 60%, mm. 20%, mm. 80%. Mm. I enjoy interviewing people that give me like 100%. You know, that are just genuinely... Genuine. And, and, and they, there's no PR answers. There's no facade. It's just like them being there. And they're like, yo, what's, what's pop? And there's been plenty of those. And it's exactly. going to be very difficult for you. I'm not being your mm. spokesperson here. Make my raj. Yeah. Mm. Uh, there's been plenty of those. It's, I, I feel... On your behalf, it's very difficult for you to say who was a standout. Mm, mm, mm. I just enjoy people that are genuine. 
Okay. The interviews where people are like being themselves. Mm. Yeah. Like what Somizi is trying to do. Yeah. On some, oh, I want to so come easy. through and be myself. Yeah. yeah. So but I'm on a brand run right now. Yeah. So I can't. I can't. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Next question. What are you guys afraid of? Snakes. <laughs> Me. <laughs> what are you guys afraid of? What motivates you guys? If you guys were given an opportunity to have a special dinner with anyone, friend, family, or something you or something you look up to to celebrate them. Who would it be and why? Can I help you? Mm. Okay, cool. I'll go first. That's me helping you. I'm not going to answer for you. This make my haraj is not going to happen. Um, what am I afraid of? I'm afraid of disappointing my mother. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think I would be sitting here right now as me here. Mine is her giving birth to me. But... Over and above that, I don't think I would be the person that I am if it wasn't for her. So for me to disappoint her, even when she calls me and I don't return her call, that for me feels like my world is falling apart. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Honeymoon phase over. It's not even that. Mm. We We had a honeymoon phase it ended for the longest time. You lying, you and your mother. I, 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 my mother said, "You are a child that I gave birth to," and that's it. You kidding? For like a good two, three years. You lying, like yes, you can't. I kid you not. For real? Yes. Hey, I've never known of this. And we had to, I had to massage getting back into her good books. And I think one thing that made us get back together and become a unit. Was the podcast? No, it was when my dad passed away. Actually. Oh, when he needed money. <laughs> no, not even. It was my, when my dad passed away because the only ally she had was me. Mm. Uh, family and whoever and whoever were like, because at some point she was being dragged for killing my father, oh. who died of natural causes. Mm. It's, it's normal F- in family, black families. Yeah, guys. family, it's, 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 it's very and common. I was, I was, I was, I stepped up. I think that's the one time when I felt, okay, cool, I need to adult right now. Mm. And mm. upon doing that, I think I got to a level whereby she was like, okay, cool. You are the son that I want to be. She saw you, you be. come through for yes. her. Mm. Yeah. And from mm. then, we've been, that's why she calls me while we're recording and I will literally answer her call mm-hmm. while we're recording. Mm. That's deep. Okay. She's my BFF, and the person that I would want to have dinner with... It's your mom. It's her. She's my superstar, man. She's my superhuman. She's my, she's my wonder woman. She's my... My mother's my life. Hmm. And do you like kicks? I want to ask how much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Yo, what an anticlimax. <laughs> <laughs> We were there just <laughs> rocking. You know what? I think he's lying. I'm going to be Mark Maharaj. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a, there was a moment, ne? me and him were driving back from Rustenburg because uh, we had gone to drop off his son. Very lovely trip going back. And we had, I think we were friends for the longest time, right? Mm. But we never understood how we could, oh, how we trip. could, yes. why we gelled together, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Was and deep. it turned out that what I just said now is literally him as well. Mm. But, but he obviously just, he, he ne- laughs about it. He, he never he, wants to get serious. Yes, he, he never, never wants, wants to. But like that conversation it. was like, shit, that conversation was me looking at myself in the mirror. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I was talking I to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that conversation. So this is one of those moments where it will be better said by Len, but make you will just never... It exactly. will never come he out will of laugh mouth. about it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But literally what I just said, that's him. Okay. Yeah. And that's hey, why... Shit. That's what makes you guys connect. Shit. Yeah. But the funny thing is we connected before we even knew that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So energies. Energies, energies are very important. Mm. And mm. they come Deep shit. when you don't necessarily know what are they coming. And you go, Slade, mm. you better wow me after that. You better wow me. Uh. <laughs> you said come through and record. <laughs> 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 
Wow, guys. I feel so like, wow. Okay. And you? What's your biggest failure? My biggest failure. Well, what is the question? What's yeah, your, what, what are you scared what, of failing? Uh, yeah. Well, no, what are you scared of? What are, what is, and who would you want to... What are you afraid of? Yeah, what, what are you afraid, afraid of? of? And yes. who and would you want to you? interview or yes. sit down with or have a dinner with? You? Type of thing? I think I always say, I think from way, way back, I always had this thing that I loved is that I look up to the person I want to be in the five years. I just, they are set plans that I, and I'm never too hard on myself. So it's it's just about um, growing in character and being a better person. And just, you set short-term goals, like five-year goals and saying, I want to be this person. It's almost like I want to be more loving. Let's say I want to extend myself. Because obviously there was a time, let's say, I just didn't like people. I'm not, I wasn't a people's person. But over the years, I worked on that, and to this point, I even want to be a psychologist because I actually want, because I'm so connected to actually hearing about people's issues and wanting to talk and being a solution in that. So it's those very weird things, but I look up to that. So I live in my head a lot. So I, I'm, in my, I'm my own fan. I'm my, I'm my own. That's why I can get satisfied in this whole ghost lady bit. I'm not out there to get to I don't need someone else's validation validation yeah so I'm very I'm my own hero like up in here in my head I'm like amazing I'm a superstar I'm great and it's okay yeah do you ever need validation nah not at all mm. do you want a hug goes there I feel like after that you need a hug <laughs> okay in the corona <laughs> times <laughs> bluetooth high five bluetooth 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 <laughs> Yeah, man. Mm. Do you yeah. feel like you need validation? No, I don't need validation. I know I'm the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> you know what the funniest thing is? The one time when I wanted to reach for the stars, mm-hmm. I touched myself and I was there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about Bonner, but what about <laughs> You touched yourself. No, he, no. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I reached for the stars. I touched my face. And then I was there. So you're And a, I you're love the people star. who make it effortless. And I feel like Beyonce is one of those people. So those are one people I would love to have a... Because another question was that, who would you love to have a dinner date? And just people who just make things effortless. I feel like, yeah. Look, Beyonce um, is one of I'm, those. I'm, I'm, I'd love to I, sit I down with in, in the essence of... Beyonce. I of, feel like this episode is real deep, man. Yeah, it just got deep. What happened, guys? I don't know. Maybe Rash or Corona is here. Um, <laughs> my last, it's, 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 it's my thank you note type of thing. He as good as your last podcast. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I feel like I, I don't need validation from a lot of people. Um, if I needed that, I, I would be in the dogs right now. Mm. Uh, yes, there are people who would say, oh, no, um, mm, uh, mm, 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 type of thing. But it's, again... You put yourself in your own sphere, ne? You put yourself at a level. And when people come validate you, they don't they might not reach the level that you think you are at. Yeah. And also that's disappointment. So the only person who can tell you how good you are is you. But then that has to come with you being also your biggest critic. Mm. If you do shit, sit down, look at yourself in the mirror and say, no, more of floppy than fanak. Mm. But if you do good, whether somebody says it or they don't say it, it's fine. Be like, you did well, because you feel it. It's, it's, there's a feeling in when you do something, there's a feeling that comes. And you feel like, no, ne? And you feel hore, if you feel hore, you can, and genuinely so, then you can. And nine months, you'll see the proof. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, in my case, it's a different story, but like, I get what you mean. But be your own, if you can become your own critic, if you can balance becoming your own critic and balance becoming your own fan, then you will know. I feel like you guys should balance. give me a, moment, a, a memo that we're <laughs> preaching today. Yeah. I would have come prepared. Len got deep now. Yeah. No, but it's, but just, it's, I'm not becoming. How Paolo, deep Paolo, okay, let's go to a light-hearted one. Paolo Maquelo. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lighthearted. Did you say lighthearted? Yeah. That's my shit. <laughs> and he laughs before even it gets lighthearted. I know someone who looks like Mac G, and he also he's also a DJ called Twinkle. Hmm. He were he was playing at Nine Four Republic on Friday after Angelic. Can he come to the show since it's a special one? Who's no. that? I don't know who that is. Do you know who Angelic is? Mm-mm. Angelic is the guy who sang She Sha Keza. We left Nine for Republic after we stopped doing FIFA tournament. Yeah. Hey, we've been hustling, eh? He also sang Tula Na 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 Tula. Oh, Angelic, yeah, yeah. Did I tell you the story about Angelic? No. I get there's this place in Zoet, it's called Soweto Ingress. I actually know them from their friends with these young twins. The, the twins that you were playing FIFA with? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they actually perform with them and... Boy, Angelic. Y- yes. Oh, nice. So I meet Angelic, Nego's lady. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm there at Soweto Ingress with a friend of mine, Cat Cat Master. So we, Shout out to Cat Master. Yeah, so we're chilling there. And then this guy comes to me. Oh, well. So, like, I don't know who the guy is. You know, I'm just being cordial. He's like, hey, man, I used to listen to your show. Love your shit, blah, 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 blah. And I'm standing there with Catmaster. Boom, 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 boom. And then he leaves. And then um, I'm like, Cat, who's that? Catmaster's like, that's Angelic. He's saying Shesha Geza. I'm like, oh, shit, I love that song. Mm-hmm. Eight months later, it's my birthday. I'm trying to book the nigga. Charges me like 50K. I'm like, shit, I should have said hi. <laughs> ah, chief. He drop, he drop, boss. It should have been nicer, man. It should have been nicer. Like, yo, dude, can I take a picture? What's your number? <laughs> Let us talk. <laughs> Let us mingle. <laughs> oh, There's another question here. Yeah. Uh, is Mekchi a possible replacement for Tando Taboti? No. No. I'm mm. saying that for free. Okay. Make my Haraj moment. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I think really like Tanada Booty Show. Did you guys like it? No, I never listened to it. Oh, I liked um, it. I right. think Mekchi would drown in radio. Mm. You're drunk. Speak, Megmaraj. No, but I said I think you're drawn in radio. Why do you say that? Because radio is 10 years behind where you are right now. Yeah, but I'm a. Actually, do you think I actually have a, a, an interview with Garrett Cliff? Is that a question? Yeah. Yeah. If he's a, like Len said this once. I've been, I've been saying that actually. Like, if there's time, I if think that would yes. be a very interesting interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he is. FIFA. This is no, it's UEFA. Oh, it's Tabang. Let's see what Tabang's saying. Hey, Tabang. Sure, my G. Sure, boy. Oh, wait, okay. I just finished now. You're on my side, boy. Hey. We're still recording, oh, boy. We're still recording, really? Yeah. How, boy? Ah, uh, but we're doing two episodes today. Two? Yeah. Because you're not here. No. No, okay, boy. All right, boy. Where do you want to go? I just finished on my side, boy. Yo, boy, I hit my hand. I my right thumb. Yo. What do you want to say to your fans? They're listening right now. <laughs> no, man. I just want to say thank you to everybody. <laughs> for I want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'll be on to you. Please subscribe to the channel. You know? Like, thank you for, for, for the calling us, man. Yeah. <laughs> I right, get well soon. All right, my G. We love you long time, Tabang. <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out, guys. Hey, your shades are in my car, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I forgot a lot of things. Even in the space, the AG space. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Shout out, my G. Yeah. Okay, no problem. One love, man. I love Tabang. Yeah, Tabang is cool, people. With energy. All right, cool. We're almost wrapping this up. Okay, cool. What were you are asking? We? What were you asking? Uh, no, no, no. Would I? Oh, you said I'll drive in radio. Yes. yes. No, no, no. One, one thing people must understand. Now I'm, I'm diligent. But you are not Jungle Book. That's the thing. I know you. Forget about your worries, man. It's okay. What is the ultimate vision for you guys? Fuck Where shit up. Going? <laughs> How far? <laughs> How far are you planning to take this podcast or movement? I think that sums it all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> next question. I think we're done. We'll take next question next time. Next time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to say in closing? Okay. I've got... You have a question? No. I've got 
a question, mm -hmm. but that is a question to a question. Mm -hmm. What's your question to him and me? What's your question? I what's my question to her? You and oh. and so forth. I already, I already Before we get dropped out. a question. I okay. already dropped a question to you guys. Okay. When I asked you about, yeah. Which one? You start. You start. You start. Ask us a question. Ask us. We are here. We are here. What's, what, what do you see as the biggest hurdle for this podcast? She's answered that. The biggest hurdle? Mm. No, I've not answered that. What no, did, how did I answer that? You said you don't see any hurdle, especially now that we're recording at a house. Everything's smooth. No. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Oh, all right. See why? <laughs> see why? Wow. See why? The biggest hurdle is when people see assume. Why? <laughs> <laughs> see why? They just assume what you're thinking see and why? you're not even there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. The biggest hurdle see why for you the... Can't give him a high five. <laughs> <laughs> um, biggest hurdle for the podcast, I just say, when things just come together, together, and things are just, it's it's more of, it's like, how can I put it? We are biggest enemies. We are efficient, you know. In no, terms biggest of there's no hurdle. problems. No, 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 no. The thing that oh yeah we kind of answered it when we talk about ah, the mic okay the oh, mic oh now we've answered it yeah because now I'm thinking I'm like wait the okay, biggest okay sharp we'll see you guys next week <laughs> <laughs> when everything is working we don't have problems threw me in her <laughs> <laughs> she threw me in her swimming pool <laughs> and you are drowning <laughs> I love you guys long time we are mm. here man. You want to give me a high five? It's that time of the year. Because, <laughs> mm. lady, what did you say in closing? Love you all. Like, subscribe. Slipe, uh, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, podcast with McG. That's a Twitter And handle. we're on the road to 10,000 likes. Ne? Yes, yes, yes. And, and uh, 40,000 subscribers. Follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. same handle. And uh, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mother, tell your grandmother, everybody. I actually like the fact that people are actually creating pseudo accounts just so they can follow us. Oh, nice. Mm. nice. So it's like if I had to make... Actually, I must do that. Follow the podcast. No, I think I did. Follow the podcast with my mother's Gmail account. Mm. Oh, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Mm. All right. We love you guys a long time. We are here, man. Peace podcast and chill. Uh, Thank you so sure much. You sanitize your hands. Clean your hands. Yeah. And uh, be safe, man. We love you. Uh, and all the kids that have closed. Yeah. Enjoy. Yes, and we'll make sure that we keep saving you that shit even during the close down or whatever you want to call it. Mm. Peace to the streets. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.